Hey friends, welcome to another journal with me video. This is going to be my weekly spread for last week, which was the last few days of November going into the beginning of December. Um, also, this week I'm going to try something a little bit different. Instead of typing out my script and doing a voiceover, I'm going to try to ad lib my voiceover and do it kind of improvised this time. And I usually stay away from doing the improv voiceover because I tend to go off topic a lot. And I'm already going off topic and the video is already at the stippling part where I draw in the moon. So I'm going to start talking about what's going on in the video. Alright, so here I'm using a really thin micron pen to draw the moon, which was a super moon last Sunday. And it was so big and bright and luminous that I just had to draw it. Um, I just got a chance to look at the moon every night kind of leading up to the super moon because I walk the dogs and sometimes it ends up being very late at night or you know even 4 30 is pretty dark nowadays so I end up walking the dogs and ho wishing that it was bright but on Sunday it was like I didn't even need any flashlight or my headlamp because the moon was just lighting up our path it was so great um, so I ended up stippling this moon for about 20 minutes, which kind of took forever. Um, I, I don't really stipple a lot, but when I do, I, I end up being pleasantly surprised with the effect at the end. It kind of looks moody and dark. And here I'm adding a little bit of calligraphy. I try to add in a little bit of calligraphy here and there. Um, and this is actually Sumi ink using a Browse Extra Fine nib extra fine 66 nib I mean let me know how you like this voiceover where I'm just kind of ad-libbing because I just feel like it's kind of all over the place but at the same time I like watching videos where people are improvising and kind of speaking off the cuff um, so I just wanted to give it a try oh a lot of people ask me about this pen that I use because it's featured in a lot of my Instagram posts and my videos this is the Pilot Kakuno fountain pen, and it's pretty much the only fountain pen I have. It's my first pen where I just kind of thought, I'm going to use this from now on. This is amazing. It's a Japanese pen that's targeted for young children or beginners to fountain pens. And since I had never tried a fountain pen before, I wanted to start off with something that was a little bit more affordable to see if I actually liked using a fountain pen. Turns out I do. I love fountain pens and I can't wait to add to my collection of one. But for now, I have to kind of stick to this one because I'm on a budget for art supplies. It's my vice. I just spend a lot um, on paper goods and <laughs> pens and notebooks and all the like. And if you're watching this video and you somehow stumble upon it, you're probably in the same boat as I am. It's addictive. I kind of like how this spread turned out. Usually I add a lot of color, um, and this week I like this kind of dark look. So I hope you like the video. Um, let me know how you like the voiceover style. I can go back to doing my scripted ones if you don't. I hope you're all having a really good week, and I'll see you in my next video.